Hello and welcome to another iCreate video tip. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your Mac's voice and get it to speak to you. So if you head up to uh, System Preferences to start with, and then choose the Dictation and Speech section, you just want to make sure that you're on the uh, Text-to-Speech tab at the top, and then if you click the Play button, you'll then uh, hear your Mac's voice. Most people recognize me by my voice. Now you can change that voice by using the very top drop down and you can pick any one of the three male or three female voices that uh, ship out with your Mac. I sure like being inside and you can adjust the speaking computer. rate here make, uh, to make it uh, faster or slower by using the I slider. Sure like inside this fancy computer. And if English isn't your first language then head to customize from this drop down menu and you'll then see a whole bunch of countries listed here. So all you need to do is just uh, scroll through to find your country and uh, then you want to pick one of the voices that's listed. Um, some have more than others. Um, you'll also find some novelty voices here. Um, for now, we're just going to pick Marcus, and uh, you can click play to test it. Hello, ich heiße Markus und ich bin eine deutsche Stimme. And you'll notice that next to the selection there in blue, it says will be downloaded. So if you hit OK, it's now going to download that quietly in the background, and it will appear in the menu once it's ready. So the next option is um, announce when alerts are displayed. And um, basically, um, if you've got some apps set up to give you alerts through your um, notifications preferences, then you can customize their voice here. Um, so you can get you can use any one of these phrases, um, or you can get it just to read out the name of the application. You can reorder those custom phrases if you like, and you can also customize the uh, delay here between when the alert's received and when your Mac speaks to you. Alert from Finder. Most people recognize me by my voice. The next option down is Speak Selected Text when the key is pressed, and this is a really cool one. Um, if you press Change Key here, and you can uh, customize the hotkey for it to anything you like. Um, so here we've got um, Option um, Alt plus Escape. So if I just bring up Text Edit now, and uh, just type in a quick little sentence here, you just hit Command A to select that text, hit uh, Option and then Escape, or um, your shortcut key for this, and your Mac will read to you. Your Mac can read anything. You can also have your Mac announce the time to you by clicking on this button here. It takes you straight to your date and time settings and you can enable this checkbox here. And you can um, set how often your Mac will announce the time and you can also change the voice for this as well. So uh, you can use different voices for different things um, which will help to, uh, help to separate out the functions a little bit. The final one here is the voiceover settings and you click this to head straight to your accessibility area. Um, so you can tick to enable it here. Um, but obviously this is quite a big section, so um, I'm going to do another video tip on this. So um, tune in for that one at a later date, but for now you can click the Open VoiceOver Training button if you'd uh, like to have a sneak preview. And that's it for controlling a Mac's voice. Um, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more video tips.